Hi there, Robin here from Expert On, and today we are talking about one of the best-selling head units that we have. And turns out, I was looking at Amazon.com, and it's on their best sellers list for marine audio head units. So there you go. What we are looking at today is from Pile, and it's called the PLMRB 29B, the black, or 29W for the white. Uh, it's 300 watts total, 4 times 75 watts. It offers Bluetooth mp3 player via usb and an sd slot it's got an auxiliary port in the front so you can 3.5 just plug in anything you've got right into it uh, am fm radio pretty straightforward four preamp outputs four speaker output lines on it as well so it's got a nice glow to it it's all backlit blue very easy to hook up just like most of them today that's the important part There's our head unit, so you're gonna get a new basket with it when you buy one of these. You're gonna get this uh, cover plate pops off if you need to take it off, just that's the trim plate on the front. Leave it on if you don't have to take it off. Uh, always replace your basket so it locks in properly on the side. Uh, you're gonna get a nice wiring harness, we'll pull that out of the unit and we'll cover some of the features on it. So there we go. Put that down right there. In the bag, I see wiring harness. Remote control. It's an IR remote, so it's a line of sight remote. You got to point out the unit. Uh, two key releases. This is how you get the actual unit off uh, once it's installed. That's how you're going to slide it off. You can try using this to get your old one off, but may or may not work. Uh, and there's four more rubber plugs, which is always nice, plus an instruction manual and a warranty card. So all that comes in the bag. So those rubber plugs, they give you extra. There's already one on the deck, and that's for the auxiliary. Uh, again, they help protect. Now remember, it's water resistant. That's the marine grade rating on this. So that means the lacquer board, or sorry, the circuit board inside has been lacquer coated. Uh, this way humidity doesn't build up. You don't get a lot of oxidization and it lasts a little bit longer that way. Uh, the unit's all made out of uh, metal and plastic wrap on it. So again, the idea is to minimize the amount of uh, moisture that can get inside this unit. Four times 75 watts is really gonna be good if you're driving speakers. You're looking for a real efficient speakers like you know if we stick with piles so you look at the plmr 62 you can try running the speakers you have in the boat first and see how those are working um, feature wise it's completely fully listed now the idea here is value added right so we're not going to have it's not uh, Sirius or xm ready uh, if you're not looking for that then you're not paying for that if you if you're just going to run your bluetooth and you run your spotify or pandora off your phone then you don't need this to have a full display and a smart connection to your phone. So you're not paying for the app options. You're not paying for all those add-ons. Uh, you're just paying for a good Bluetooth connection to play your music from or using the FM radio. Again, the AM FM here, it's an analog. It's not a high def like you would see on the Clarion, but uh, nice part is, is with this guy here, you're mostly gonna use it on Bluetooth. You'll probably play some FM radio on it, but you know, the connection is really good when you have it hooked up via your phone sound quality is awesome so that's everything so you know if we cover the front side usb is hidden behind the door on the right side then we've got our auxiliary connected right underneath we've got our sd slot here we've got all our function buttons here which goes from skipping forward pause play then we've got the internal, we've got repeat, random play, all these little uh, functions that we can press right on the front of the unit. The main menu button and the main option button is located with the volume. So that's the knob. Pushing in on it, it's gonna get us to our bass and treble, our balance between uh, left and right, our fade from front to back, plus a bunch of other features. That's all gonna happen when you start pressing this button here. Um, it's all black, uh, it's all blue LED crystal display. It's all blue backlit all the way around, including the knob. There's a clear acrylic here, so it all lights up really, really nicely. Uh, on the top, they give you a sticker with a wiring diagram on it, so you don't have to be using the manual. You can just reference the top of the radio. The harness uses a standard color code, so it doesn't matter how old the radio is, if it's done in the last 30 years, you've got your purple, gray, white, green wires for your speakers. And then we've got our four power cables, our main power, our main ground, our accessory power and our remote cable for our, our amplifiers so if you don't have the ability to 
uh, wire this up separately so this way you can keep the memory and keep the presets or maybe that's not important to you then you can just put the yellow and red together to the positive and then the black to the ground if you're lucky enough you can hook the yellow up to a constant power like the battery and then the red can go to any anything that turns on when you turn on the boat when you turn it off you want this power to stop and that'll tell the radio to turn off but keep all the memory presets in it so that pretty much covers everything on this radio here uh, again great extremely popular easy to set up easy to install things you're going to want to add to that you want to make sure you have an antenna or a good working antenna uh, this is one that just requires either the boat to be fiberglass or wood where you're installing it you just drape this no extra holes to be drilled so it's a good add-on another important add-on or replacement if you have one of these and you've had it for several years you had it with the old radio or maybe you got the boat and it was already there uh, replace it it only costs 10 to 15 dollars uh, it's a splash guard this is going to increase this from being just you know moisture resistant to now as long as this door is closed and the gasket's doing its job splash resistant this gets mounted to the boat and then you mount the radio right through here it makes the install easier because your cut can be a little bit you you've got a little bit of tolerance you got about a 3 16 wiggle room when using this if you're going to put this right in that basket's got to be dead on perfect so it also helps with the install make sure to use the gaskets if you decide and like i said this is a nice little add-on uh, available on our website it's available at amazon.com and it's not a big investment 10 15 dollars well worth it all right well if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below i'm robin you've been watching expert island and give us a thumbs up if we did okay and we'll see you next time thank you very much